Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. All right, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche, capiche. Listen, y'all. I hope you're having a lovely day today. Oh, Lord have mercy. For whoever this reading is for, um, <laughs> if you guys are driving about, you know, running your errands, going to work, coming back home, doing whatever you need to do, and you're noticing a lot of people on the road acting crazy, like just driving nuts around you, driving reckless, this is because of the, um, these are effects of somebody trying to send you dark magic to get you in a car accident i'm just gonna tell you this right now if this is gonna resonate for some of y'all if you're not noticing this um and you're just hearing this now this message isn't for you i'm trying to give confirmation to somebody you also need to know that you're being you're being heavily protected from whatever this magic is okay just so you know also for um like if there's something here about your spirit team, God, working behind the scenes, okay? Like the universe is keeping something very secret from you. Even your ancestors, your your angels, whoever protects you, whoever guides you. Um, even your cosmic family, that's for some of you, not all y'all. They're, they're working behind the scenes and they're being very quiet about it because there's something really beautiful, something really big that's coming in for you. And they also want you to be surprised by it as well. Something, something beautiful is coming in. Something very unexpected is coming in for who this reading is for. You guys could also be seeing 555 a lot as well. Um, I feel like there's going to be like a beautiful, unexpected blessing coming in for y'all if you're seeing 555. I also feel like there's going to be some sort of... Um, some sort of information, unexpected information or something like this that's coming in for you as well. Um, I also feel like if you guys are seeing 555, this could be a confirmation that you guys could have had somebody, um, for someone in particular, you guys could have had an ex that was did something out of their own uh, insecurities or out of their own shadow to close your roads in some way okay whether they went and paid someone to close your roads or they did it themselves or they did it with word of mouth by spreading lies or rumors just know something unexpected is going to be happening for that person like and if this doesn't even also this also doesn't have to just be limited to an ex this could be um this could be pertain pertaining to like a family member who was trying to close your roads or trying to block you from moving forward this could be um an old friend a current friend um this could be somebody you work with this could be a neighbor this could be anyone whoever you've been suspecting that's probably them oh no it's probably them okay um, sorry, my, my music, I forgot to keep it on repeat. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was on a roll. <laughs> okay, so let me just move on. Um, they're going to be experiencing something unexpected, okay? Because whatever they have been trying to do or plan to do in order to, to halt you or to stop your forward movement, um, they thought they were very sure of it really stopping you, but it's not going to stop you. Okay, the divine is stepping in to block whatever this person was trying to block for you. Does this make sense? Like, whatever they're trying to do is going to be stopped. Basically. Okay. And something's going to be unlocking for you. Something here is going to be opening up for you. Okay, this could be opportunities. This could be newfound knowledge or enlightenment. All right. Um, this could be love. This could be, this could be a lot of things. All right. It's almost like someone here was trying to like drain you of your good fortune, drain you of your good luck. I feel like this is like spiritually, but it doesn't have to be limited to just the spiritual. But I really do feel like someone here was trying to like clog your pipes, so to speak, right? So that you wouldn't receive something. Like someone here was, someone here thought they were like a spiritual plumber. You know, they're like, well, I know how pipes work. So I'm gonna clog their pipes purposely instead of you know, help them. Something like that is going on. 
Maybe there's somebody here that's like you went to as an expert to help you with something, but they actually were doing the opposite for you. Like they weren't helping you clean your pipes. Not like that. You guys know what I mean. This person wasn't like literally cleaning your pipes. They were clogging them instead. So I don't know. Something like that is of significance as well. So maybe you guys trusted somebody and to, to help you with something and they ended up, they were actually there sabotaging you. Okay. Maybe that's something that is going to be revealed for y'all. Okay. Also, when I was, um, earlier today, like when I was running my errands, all I kept seeing were like orange traffic cones. Okay. Like that's all I kept seeing. Like when I first, you know, like even like right near my house, traffic cones. And then when I went on the highway, traffic cones. And then I went to the, when I went to the place I was supposed to go or that I went, traffic cones. Like there's, this could be like a warning or something like this. You're being warned at this time. Something here about being cautious or something here about construction. You guys could be under construction right now. Maybe somebody knows that you're under construction right now. This could be spiritually, this could be internally, okay? And someone here could be trying to prevent you from fully being constructed. Does this make sense? Someone's trying to stop the construction. Someone's trying to get into the construction site and, and halt everyone working or something like that. We're trying to ha halt you from working either on yourself, some sort of project or whatever you're trying to build. Okay. Or someone here could be a construction worker. This could be you or someone else. There's a, there's something here about like somebody trying to like get you while you're not looking or get you while they think you're in a, vul a vulnerable space or state of mind or something like this. Okay, so just, I think that's why you need to be cautious or keep your eyes open or, um, I'm not saying this to scare anyone either. I'm just, for some of y'all, this is just confirmation, all right? Going back to what I was saying before, um, about your spirit team, God working behind the scenes, okay? Um, something, something's a brewing, something beautiful is coming in, okay? So it, you're, the reason I'm bringing this up is I think the divine wants you not to worry, not to stress about something because everything is being worked out. Everything is being worked out. You don't need to stress. I don't know who needs to hear this. Also, I feel like for a lot of y'all, you guys got people looking dumb. Okay, you got people uh, speechless. You got people going... Uh, <laughs> uh, you got people speechless i don't know what you're doing i don't know what you've done but you got people speechless or you're going to one or the other all right um i also was picking up something here about critical care um someone here could be needing critical care or that's what they were hoping for you child or you're about to get some form of critical information or somebody knows they only have a critical amount of window of time to do something here or something or they're running out of time and they know something is very critical i don't know something like that or someone here could be very critical of you you guys could be seeing 333 a lot you guys could be seeing 777 confirmation you guys could be seeing 888 you also could be seeing 444 144 and 123 Let's look up 777. It says you are in sync with the universe. So you guys could be seeing a lot of uh, signs and uh, synchronicities. Okay. At this time we have 777 as a shout out. Okay. Reassuring you that you are properly aligned with the universe and your internal truths. During this time, your heart is open to higher consciousness, spiritual enlightenment, and manifestation. Hot diggity dang. Look at y'all. You should be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself, baby. Okay. Um, we have during... Oh, wait. 
I already said that. Okay, so it says, now is the time to recover balance and perspective, especially in assessing material possessions, needs, and desires. It says 777 signals a time when we are better able to evaluate our lives properly. With this new perspective comes new possibilities, particular, particularly in the spiritual realm. Since 777 is linked to 3, the energies of creativity and communication point to a shift that is required on your part. Pay attention to the communication of angel guides through scriptures, synchronicities, and meditation sessions. So you guys are being guided to go within. Meditate. Take time out of your day to go within. Okay? It's, it's vital right now. It's crucial is what I feel like. At, uh, as the spiritual evolution begins to take effect, you will start to fully understand the support of your angels and the reality of manifestation. As a spiritual possibility becomes a reality, abandon negativity and get ready to access your spiritual intuition for the next phase of your life. I feel like that's what's getting unlocked. I feel like for a lot of y'all, someone here has locked your locked up your intuition okay someone here has dimmed your spiritual gifts since you were a very young child now this message is for for a select few who watch me your spiritual gifts are about to um amp the fuck up i don't know who you is but it's about to amp up something is becoming unlocked and there's somebody here in your family that's very fearful of this being unlocked all right you know how we keep getting the message somebody here made a copy of your keys or somebody stole your keys that's i think that's what that pertains to there's somebody either in your i feel like it's somebody in your family or somebody who knows of your family a family friend somebody a distant cousin whoever the fuck it is your aunt i mean that's still somebody in your family whatever this is somebody here who, who knew who you were before you were someone who knew who you were okay <laughs> my music just stopped all weird um and they have been this is somebody here who has been metaphorically using that key to withdraw from your spiritual bank account is what it feels like to me of your of your inheritance and i feel like now this person is being locked out of this spiritual bank account and they mad and they scared okay there's somebody here that you guys are dealing with that is upset about God's favor God's favor over your life someone doesn't like that God favors you okay and that's another thing too earlier today when I was driving around uh running my errands I kept hearing the song God favors me okay I don't know I didn't know who sang it so I just looked it up and then I started playing it when I was driving around okay um but we're gonna read the lyrics okay because it blew my mind all right and the thing is too i don't i'm not someone who tends to like listen to gospel music that's just i don't know i just don't but um yeah let's let's get into it let me read this first real quick okay um and then it says what your future holds is chances to achieve further spiritual enlightenment so whoever i'm speaking to you're about to get some something's you're gonna be enlightened Okay, and I think it's whatever this enlightenment is, it's huge, okay? But let's get into this song. Someone's name could be Nelson or, or Nelly or something like that. This could be you or someone else, but um, let's get into the song. The song is by Chow, I don't even know how to say this, but let, let me just show you what a person, I can't say the words. Okay, uh... Hezaka Walker and the Love F Fellowship Choir. Okay, the song is called God Favored Me. Um, so in the beginning, he just starts talking. He says, This is my testimony, everybody, how God favored me in spite of my enemies. And if God did it for me, he'll do the same thing for you. Don't worry about your haters. Your haters can't do nothing with you. Listen to these words. And then he starts singing, love is patient, caring, love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. But I've had my share of love, abuse, manipulated, and it's strengthened, hold on, <clears throat> and it's strength, um, misused. And then it goes, um, I can't help 
but I give you glory when I think about my story. Okay, hold on. It says, and I can't help but give but give God glory when, sorry, the way the, it's worded, it's like it's saying things twice because of the chorus in the background. So basically what he's saying is that no matter what he has gone through, he's, he's, he has, he can't help to give God glory for what he has overcome, what he was able to survive, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, you guys have people who are upset about what you have been able to overcome and survive. For whoever this is for, you got somebody here or people you guys could have more than just one person who is jealous of what you're able to survive or what you have survived i feel like that's the worst type of jealousy is to have someone jealous of you because you survived some shit because you healed from some shit you guys can have someone, I don't know who this is for, but you guys can have someone here who's upset about you being able to survive cancer. I don't know who that's for, but some you got some weird sick people in your fucking family, okay? Um, but that's not for all y'all. There, there's somebody here who's dealing with, like, for instance, if I'm speaking to mainly my generational curse breakers. If you are somebody here who has, this is for some of you, not all y'all. This is just an example. If you are the one person who has overcome some form of addiction or stronghold in your family lineage, you got other family members who are still affected by that stronghold that are jealous of you because you were able to overcome it. And they weren't, they, they're, they're upset with themselves because they, they know, they see the strength in you, basically. They see the strength in you that they wish they fucking possessed. And, then, and so they're mad at you and they want to, you know, see you suffer or some dumb shit. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. But let me keep going. <clears throat> um, and then it goes, and I know you favored me. You favored me because of my enemies, what they tried to do or what my enemies did try, but couldn't triumph over me. Yes, they did try but couldn't triumph over me. I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm still blessed on my way to my destiny because the favor of God is on my life. Let me tell you about love. Love is patient. So I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a strong believer in the power of love and how love is the ultimate, love is the ultimate answer to, to, to everything. Handling arguments or conflicts with love, even though it's very hard to do, even when you know you're not in the wrong, being the bigger person is hard to do. Keeping your mouth closed when you want to give someone a, a tongue lashing is, is true fucking strength. That's not you being a coward. That's you having self-discipline, self-restraint self-control ciao because when you when you're a very enlightened person you are aware that most of the time when you have haters or enemies or people wanting to get under your skin or people trying to attack you or bring you down it has a lot less to do about what you are doing and who you are it has a lot to do with what what's going on with them Th that person is suffering or they're having they have some form of dis-ease within them that's making them do that to you or to attack you to want to hurt you that person got to heal or they got a demon on them whatever it is it don't have nothing to do with you okay there's something here about whoever i'm speaking to continue loving yourself being patient with yourself also being patient with these fucking enemies that you got going on around you don't allow them to, you know, get you to blow up or smack a bitch, okay? All right. So it says, love is patient, love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. It says, I had a whole lot of people in my life who abused my love. They manipulated and took the strength of it. 
and try to misuse it. So for some of y'all, you guys could be uh, someone who resonates with that. And then it goes, I can't help but give God glory today. When I think about all I've been through, about my story, that I still come out on the winning side. So whoever I'm speaking to, you got people just mad that you, you know, no matter what you've been through, you still you still come out winning, child. This is giving Rising Phoenix um, vibes to me. Okay. Um, let's see, see. It says, and that's what they did. Conspired. That's what they did. They told their lies. They told a whole lot of lies. God favored me, but God favored me. My character, my integrity, my faith in God, he favors me. Yeah. But then would not fall, would not bend, won't compromise. God favored me. I spoke life and I spoke life and prosperity. I even broke or I even spoke health. God favors me. He favors me. They whispered about me, conspired. They conspired against me. They told their lies. Okay, so yeah, that just keeps going around. Listen, so whoever I'm speaking to, you, uh, for some of y'all, you don't realize that you got the power of, of speaking um, blessings into your life. There's something here about the power of your, of your words. You really need to start uh, understanding. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Okay. Uh, someone's name could be Betty. This could be your name, your names, or someone else's names. Someone's name could be Betty, Carlos, um, who was it? Oh, or somebody here could be Carless. Like somebody here could have lost a car recently. Someone's name could be John, Emmanuel, okay, Eric, or Don. Or something here is going to happen like somebody something is gonna happen to where you're just gonna wake up and your whole life is gonna be different and it's gonna be like freaking beautiful i don't know who that is for that's for somebody in particular okay um uh this is someone for this is this also this message here is specific for somebody there's something here about ten thousand dollars okay i don't know if someone's going to give you ten thousand dollars or someone was paid ten thousand dollars or um you you're gonna earn ten thousand dollars something about ten dollars ten thousand dollars or there's something here about you needing to invest ten thousand dollars either in yourself which is which i'm saying like your business or something like this or or something like that this could be about education maybe some of you are not sure if you want to go to school or not because of maybe maybe a higher level of education is going to cost you ten thousand that sounds pretty cheap to me because <laughs> school's expensive so i don't know maybe this is like a trade or something a trade cost ten thousand or something like that whatever it is it's gonna make you a lot more money whoever whoever this message is for there's something here about investing ten thousand and it's gonna turn into one million. Ten thousand turning into one million or maybe some of you need to put away ten thousand in like a a compounding interest or high interest whatever the fuck it's called a high yielding interest bank account or whatever it's called okay i don't know the proper terms but something like that if you put ten thousand you're gonna get a million or something like this this is for some of you not all y'all listen i'm not an accountant i'm not a banker i don't know the proper words but something like that is going on i don't know if this is about stocks or bonds or something like this maybe some that's gonna resonate for somebody but let's get into this reading and see what we got going on it's hot diggity dang Just know that God loves you. Ciao. We got heart chakra and then we got the ace of swords. Someone's going to tell you the truth and whatever this truth is, it's going to come from the heart. Okay. Or maybe you're being guided to do that. Speak something from the heart. Okay. Or somebody, somebody's now seeing your true intentions were good. 
Someone here could be 41 or 14, not 14. Someone here could be 41 or born on the 14th of the month. You better not be 14 watching my channel. This is 18 and over only. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what's going on? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What they need to hear at this time? Okay. Ooh. We got um, movement choices and decisions reverse. Somebody here is already certain about a decision here. Or, or maybe you are. Yeah, because we got choose wisely at the bottom of the deck. We have rest and rejuvenate. Okay. There's, it, it's important for you to um, just relax at this time. Be at peace. Knowing that everything is being taken care of for you. It's like the divine is like wanting you to know you don't need to lift a, another gosh diggity dang finger. He got you. And this is about your wish fulfillment. Okay. It's coming in. Child, the truth is also coming in as well. Ch the truth is coming in. The truth about your true character. Just like that song, God favors me. Whoever I'm speaking to, if there was lies that were told on you, lies told on your character, people trying to uh, trying to say that you're 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 not honest or whatever the hell, the truth is going to be revealed about who you are as a person. And whoever this other person is who was lying on you, they're going to be exposed as being a fucking liar. And somebody's scared about it too, because we got the eight of the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, trapped in fear. Somebody is so fearful because they know the truth is coming out. They should be. They should be ashamed of themselves of the, what they should be. It's 27 on the clock right now. This is a karmic lesson this person has to learn. Someone's going to learn a lesson in a fucking hard way. This is going to be real bad for this person. But this is somebody here who refused to stop fucking with you. Whoever this person is, they refuse to stop speaking ill on your name. This is someone here who refused... Um, to stop sending you death spells or money spells or beauty spells or, or blocking love spells. Whatever the hell it is. Whatever they were doing. 420 could be of significance. Someone here could be smoking a lot of the weed. You might need to slow down a little bit. Okay. I'm not saying completely stop. Okay. I mean you should. But you know what I'm saying. Or maybe that's maybe that is what you need to do. Maybe you know, <laughs> maybe some of you is is uh full of anxiety or something. You need to chill out. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Someone here could be born August twentieth. This could be you or someone else. Someone here could be born um, August fourth or second. So someone here could be a Leo. Someone here could be born April 20th or April 8th. Someone here could be a Taurus, Aries cusp. Somebody here could be a Aries. Someone here could be an Aquarius. Someone here could be born February 4th, February 8th, February 20th. Someone here could be an Aquarius, Pisces cusp. This could be you or someone else. Someone's very emotional right now. Okay, someone's very emotional about your inner peace. We have fight the good fight. Whoever I'm speaking to, you chose to fight the good fight, and you're not bunch. You're not budging for no one. See how it's in reverse? You're certain about it. You ain't. You ain't questioning oh should i fight the good fight no you're certain about it whoever i'm speaking to you're certain about fighting the good fight and this is what's making someone fearful okay someone's fearful about your strength your courage you being ten, ten tone ten toes down about something oh my god sorry i'm getting passionate and my mouth don't work sometimes <laughs> let me see let me see Let's figure out what this guy's to say. I don't know about y'all, but it's hot as hell where I'm at right now. Hot as hell. 
Okay, let me see. It says, it would be nice if life were all rainbows, sunshine, and peace signs. But sometimes we have to fight for what's right. The badass asteroid, Palas, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, has a warrior spirit. But the force behind its fierceness is wise and justice oriented, not vengeful or hot headed. There is a difference. With Pal Palas, I don't know if I'm saying that right, on your side, it's important to be strategic in choosing your battles and not let your monetary rage, your momentary, excuse me, rage get the better of you. It says the best laid plans are through the smart. But also, wait, hold on. The best laid plans are thorough and smart, but also considerate and fair. It's getting what you want worth sacrificing your ethics. Oh, hey, oh, no. Somebody wants you to go against your moral compass. Somebody wants you to um, tell a lie. Or somebody wants to catch you in a lie. Somebody wants to wants to have the a reason to call you a hypocrite. Somebody here wants to find a, a way to um, prove that God doesn't favor you, or you truly don't believe in the in God, or you're you don't have a strong connection with the Most High Source, the Universe. Child, stop! These motherfuckers need to stop. Um, it says you're above that, and you know it. So whoever I'm speaking to, you're above the bullshit. Don't be, don't be rolling around in the mud with the fucking pigs, the peasants, the rats, the roaches. Please, take the high road. What was I saying? Give me the gun. What was I saying? Take the high road, but don't take anyone's crap either. There's a way you can gracefully Express your truth. Communicate your boundaries gracefully. You don't have to do it in a ratchet way. You don't have to do it with your fists or your feet. You don't have to do that. You don't even have to do it with a raised voice. That's what you're being trained to do. I don't know who I'm speaking to. If you're dealing with a lot of motherfuckers trying to um, get under your skin or trying to poke and prod you, you're under training right now. You're being trained to learn how to control your gosh diggity dang mouth. Because whoever I'm speaking to, you have the power to speak life into not just your life, but someone else's, other people's lives. You're, you, the way you communicate is very powerful, okay? And it's because you do it from your heart. And what you do with your heart helps you manifest some shit. And you got someone here wanting you to speak, speak ill will. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't be like them. Don't, don't. Because what this, what these, these lower vibrational people want from you, they want to prove that you're just like them. Because these are people who, who are looking these are people who are, in a, in a way, they're looking up to you. Because there's something here that you're able to do or survive that they feel like they don't have the strength to do or survive. So they want to prove not only to their own self, their shameful part of themselves, the shadow side of themselves, that you ain't any different than them. And they don't need to validate the, the fact that they don't need to heal themselves or work on themselves. Because look, 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 the person who's favored by God uh, is just like me and doing doing the same blah 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 don't you have you're at a different level of responsibility whoever i'm speaking to you're being placed at a different level you can't do what these weirdos do you got to do it in a different way you can still communicate your boundaries you can still make someone realize you're not the one to fuck with without stooping to their level okay I'm just saying. Think about addressing them like you would address a child, a toddler, a spoiled brat. I'm not talking about in the gentle parent way. Okay, I'm talking about like, for some of you, how your parents raised you. Okay, with tough love or whatever, just giving it to you straight. 
like how it should be because nowadays I see people and their children out in public and they're gentle parenting their kids and it's just it's I feel like we're gonna have a whole generation of sociopaths okay and narcissists and people feeling like the world is too hard because they were you know raised thinking never mind let me just <laughs> Let me not get into it because people are going to get mad at me, but I don't give a fuck. <sighs> Basically, what I'm saying. I don't know. Let's keep going. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why do we got rest and rejuvenate? You got to take the higher road, baby boo. Okay. You, oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. You got to talk to these people like you're the grown adult in the situation. That's basically what it is because these are people here who are emotionally immature. They don't want to they don't want to mature because when it comes to ascension right like the story of moses like i said before if you guys are new i'm just going to repeat it like the story of moses right and pharaoh and it's metaphoric of a spiritual assess ascension a spiritual awakening uh, um going through and having enlightenment and spiritually maturing right mentally emotionally spiritually that's what ascension is about Looking at something from a higher perspective, understanding the why of why someone does something negative to you, understanding the whole circumstance instead of and handling it maturely with understanding. Somebody here, you're dealing with people who are not awoken. You're dealing with people who are not at that level of spiritual maturity, spiritual enlightenment. Okay. So you need to speak to them as such, like they're a child. And you're the parent. I'm still not your mama. I'm still not your daddy. Okay, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why do we have rest and rejuvenate? We have Gemini. You could be a Gemini, you could have Gemini somewhere in the chart, but there's a need for you to change your mind about something. Look at something from a higher perspective. Think about why is God putting favor over your life? Why is God putting you in a position of leadership? Why is God pulling you to um, speak out about something here? It's in order for, for you to enact some sort of change or... Um, for some of y'all, you're being pushed to do something in order to show the glory of God. To prove God's existence. To show other people that when you allow God in your heart, anything is possible. Your whole life can change. Something like that could be going on. Let's see what this got to say though. I'm also getting you got somebody here that's trying to change your mind in order to make you stop doing something as well. So this is what somebody might be doing this by communicating something to you. <sighs> we have you may feel strongly about whatever's happening right now, but that doesn't mean you have to be immovable, immovable in your mindset. Gemini zippy, quick witted and mutable energy wants you to lighten up, loosen your grip and keep your keep an open mind symbolized by the twins the sign of gemini loves bouncing from one idea and opinion to the next acknowledging the multifaceted nature of any given issue and never being afraid to switch their stance why look at the world in black and white when life is actually made up of a whole rainbow of spectrum there are many sides to every story so don't get stuck on just one Okay, so for some of you, you guys could be stuck uh, thinking something here about why you went through what you went through. You guys could be looking back on your story, so to speak, right? And be like, well, why did I do this? Or why did I have to go through this? Why did, or you got, I don't know, some of you could be feeling guilty because I said, why did I do this? Whatever. Um, whatever it is, there's a need for you to change your perspective. Tell me more spirit. Because it could be causing you unnecessary stress or something. Tell me more. We have seized the sunny opportunities. Ciao. Maybe you guys aren't seeing an opportunity here. That's, be that's right in front of you. 
We have Midhaven. It says, mind your reputation. So somebody here is paying attention to your reputation or trying to mind your business when they need to mind their own or whatever this is. Okay, let me see what's going on. Or someone here is trying to change how people perceive you. We have seized the sunny opportunity. Sure, the sun's immaculate and blinding rays have the ability to wash us out and hog the spotlight but if we team up with this luminary instead of trying to compete with it then suddenly we'll find ourselves at center stage too such is the case with kazumi i don't know if i'm saying this word right this word in astrology which refers to the brief period when the sun is at the same point in the zodiac as another planet it says the sun's star power is on your side right now bringing all sorts of brilliant chances to break old cycles and clear your clear your slate it says your best qualities are being highlighted and your goals are being illuminated often offering you crystal clarity on your objectives seize this opportunity and capitalize on the cosmic support you're receiving so yeah you're receiving a lot of support here tell me more what do we got trapped in here We got a new moon. Someone's trapped in fear about what they did on the new moon or some shit or that you have a new beginning. Or that your manifestations are coming in. Someone's trapped in fear about the seeds here that you planted or that you're about to, you know, receive some sort of harvest for your hard work that you've done in the past. It says each month, each monthly lunar cycle starts with the new moon, a phase that is invisible in the sky shrouded in darkness but bursting with potential and energy of new beginnings this card is a sign that it is time to plant some seeds of opportunity in your life by turning over a new leaf starting a project or initiating a fresh connection whether you whether you landscape an entire garden or just sprinkle some wild flower seeds over a bed of soil the current energies are supportive of a rest reset button like fresh start okay someone's upset that someone is upset about your life it says be ready to tend your seedlings and bring your dreams to life someone's upset about your dreams coming true someone's upset about you having a new connection with somebody or somebody reuniting with you whatever it is somebody mad about it who cares these people need to get it together yeah it says take a good look around we have third house heavy on the gemini heavy on the gemini who does person trapped in fear spirit this could be somebody who's playing too many games who's trapped in fear this is somebody who could have uh fucked around and found out and now they scared or somebody here plays sports whatever it is tell me more we got cancer this person could be a cancer that's trapped in fear or somebody here is overwhelmed okay holy spirit holy angels trapped in fear like this this could be somebody here who's a vegetarian okay who does person trapped in fear this could be someone who is musically inclined they could play a musical interest instrument or um something like that yeah this this could be someone here who's very narcissistic they could have narcissistic tendencies this person is trapped in fear okay because of something that they did selfishly or someone here was only thinking about themselves Okay. We have Capricorn. This could be a Capricorn here who's trapped in fear about you starting a new project, you having a new beginning in love, something here. This person could be real mean, mean spirited. This could have been the person that was trying their best to block and stop you or trying to get you um, put in a tight situation or put you or corner you or something like this. We have the cook, okay? So someone here could be a cook or this person is. Flip where we need to go. This person could be trapped in fear. Someone here who go to the gym a lot could be trapped in fear. All right, or you go to the gym. Flip where we need to go. We have homebody, okay? This could be somebody who's trapped in fear. They're locking themselves in the home because they're afraid of something here. They're afraid of the truth coming out. We have Leo. You guys could be dealing with Leo, okay? Or you are one or something here is about to be illuminated about a Gemini or you are a Gemini, 
okay? Flip where I need to go. Someone here is about to be illuminated for being a two-sided weirdo. For smiling in your face and then secretly wanting to take your place. Now somebody wants to be in their feelings about something because you're still you're still receiving whatever they were trying to block. Libra, this is your justice. Someone here cannot fuck with you. You're you're unfuckwittable, alright? Because the truth is gonna prevail. We have pickup truck. Someone here could have a pickup truck. This could be you or someone else. Ciao. Something here about communication is coming in for sure. Some sort of truth for sure is coming in. The truth is that you keep persevering over any challenge. If you're wondering what this <laughs> this dark stuff is, it's my pen that leaked. It leaked all over my cards. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why we got truth? Yeah, you're going to find out about a truth about a gift or someone's finding out the truth about the fact that you have a gift, a spiritual gift, some sort of talent, okay? Or someone here was trying to hide... Um, or someone here was trying to take your spiritual inheritance, your spiritual gifts. I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, somebody was trying to take it from you. They were trying to bring challenges to you so you wouldn't receive this. Okay? Somebody here could have went to a professional to do this as well. Or there's a professional here that knows the truth about someone here trying to prevent you from receiving something. Whether this is spiritually or in the 3D. Okay? We have ideas. Someone here had a creative idea to try to do something to you to block this. Okay, you could have already foretold something here was going to happen, and now someone feels overloaded. So somebody here could have planned on trying to find another way to bring challenges to you so you wouldn't receive something, but I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you could be very intuitive, and you've already, you could have spoke it out, like, oh, they're probably going to do this and this and this. Somebody, somebody's mad because you just, you know, you know what they're doing before they even do it. We have commitment at the bottom of the deck now somebody feels binded and trapped by the own their own trap trying to trap you or somebody knows they can't do something to you because legally this could be a legal thing legally they can't overdo something here there's some sort of contract or there's a contract that's now over an, a cycle a karmic a karmic cycle or contract that you have with another person is done There could be someone here that also feels like if they come in and give you some sort of information that it will help alleviate some sort of burden that they're going through. This could be a whole somebody in a group, somebody who worked in a team against you. Mm, I'm also getting for some of y'all. You, you guys could have somebody here who does the same thing as you do for work. And this person feels overwhelmed now because they were involved in trying to take something from you spiritually and it didn't work. And the truth about this is coming out and they could be trapped in fear about it. What are you trapped in fear? This is for some of you, not all y'all. Somebody's worried because you, you have favor over your life. You have God's favor over your life. That's why they're trapped in fear. And whatever they were trying to do, plan to do, is going to probably land them in jail or they already notice. Somebody was wishing the worst on your ass. Someone here was trying to wish for you to be in jail. So they could take something from you. Take an opportunity. Some sort of gift. An inheritance. An offer. Something like that. But you're getting the gift of a new beginning, child. And there's nothing these people can do about it. You got someone. You got somebody's demons really disturbed by your new beginning. Somebody, somebody's dangerous. You guys are dealing with a dangerous person. Let's get these out real quick. You guys are dealing with a dangerous individual. So be cautious. Yeah, the truth is that you're in your purpose. You're in your life purpose with the star here.
you're going to have some sort of wish granted. Maybe some of you have been praying for the truth to be revealed, for your name to be cleared. Whatever it is, child, it's coming. And somebody here was definitely trying to fight with you. Someone was definitely trying to argue with you, bring chaos to you because you are the star or because you are shining brightly. Somebody here could be mad at you because you are an inspiration or you're ins you're inspiring the people that are even competing with you or trying to fight with you. You're also teaching them. You're also teaching these people, right? You're teaching these people how to be by just being. By you taking the higher road and not rolling in the mug with the pigs, you're teaching them lessons you're teaching them valuable learning experiences whether they you know change or not they're gonna remember you okay i'm also getting somebody wants to come in and now tell you or, or now say that something was a misunderstanding someone no longer wants to be in devil-like energy or something like that okay this could have been somebody here who was physically or emotionally abusive to you Okay, this is someone here that you share a negative karmic connection with. Someone who's very toxic. This person could have some sort of entity attachment on them. They could be dealing with some sort of codependency. Whatever it is, they could be dealing with a drug addiction. This is somebody here who um, wants to come in and either argue with you or they want to... They want to bring healing to a situation by telling you the truth. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We got the four of wands, child. Something here about a house could be of significance. This could be somebody from your community, okay? Your neighborhood, um, your family. Somebody wants to reunite, reunite with you. Or this is somebody here that you once were. Ew. This could be somebody from your past, an ex from your, from your past, a lover from your past that wants to come back. But this is somebody here who's super toxic. This could have been someone here who was abusive to you. Maybe you're going to find out the truth about this person or what they did to you or what they were trying to do. Someone's losing their temper. Maybe they're finding out that you're getting married. That's for some of you, not all y'all, or you're about to get married or you're just celebrating life in general. And, and this is driving this person nuts. <laughs> Somebody's getting caught up. Oh, we got the seven of swords. Somebody here is getting caught up. Someone's in fear about you finding out about some sort of deception. I also feel like this could be an ex that was real disgusting, real unhealthy, that healed or is healing. And now they want to come back and tell you the truth about something that they did in the past, some sort of betrayal they did to you in the past because they really want to be with you. It's up to you of what you want to do. If you want to forgive this person and, let, and allow this person to have a second chance, that's on you. Do what you need to do. Whatever, this person might come to you speaking from the heart, speaking truth. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe this person really did change and turn a new leaf. Maybe you helped inspire this person to turn around. Turn around, okay? Turn around and, you know, change themselves or, you know. That's for some of you, not all, y'all. Okay? I'm also getting, like, something here that someone thought they would be able to get away with. They're not getting away from. I'm also getting, like, somebody here... Somebody, somebody could be wearing a, somebody's going to wear a mask. I, I feel like whoever this person is going to, who wants to come in and ex of yours and wants to come in and start again, I feel like they're wearing a mask. That's my opinion, but I don't know. Yeah, this is somebody here that you, I don't know. There's someone here that wants to come in from your past that don't even have a plan. <laughs> They don't even know what to do with you. This person just wants to come in like, oh my god, oh my god, uh, like they know you're gonna, you're moving on to bigger and better, and they want to be a part of it. That's it. That's all they know. This person, I don't know. I don't like it, to be honest. Be careful. Yeah, someone's coming in to communicate something to you. Someone wants you to uh, reconsider something here. Somebody wants you to, you know, insert them in your future plans. This person is trapped in their head. They're having a lot of negative thoughts. They don't know how, what to communicate to you or how to communicate with you. You could be someone who's very um, intuitive. 
you could be um, a sp spiritual master of sorts. And this person may, this person knows that you know something here. Someone here is trying to cover their ass is what it feels like to me with this eight of swords and two of wands in reverse. Or somebody here knows for sure that you're not, you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna waver or be manipulated. So that's why they're in fear. Somebody also is in fear because you're in alignment. And something here about the past. Someone knows that you are very much aware or you're about to be enlightened about what happened in the past when it comes to some sort of betrayal, deception, lies. Okay. Someone here could be 48 years old or born in 1984. This is a whole community that's afraid. Or somebody in your community that's afraid. This could be a father figure, a baby father, a brother, an uncle, somebody. They're afraid. They Maybe they want to come in and tell you like they had to do something because they were in fear of their life. Or somebody's in fear because uh, this could be a whole community of people, a whole family, a whole group of individuals that are now afraid because the truth about them hiring a man to harm you could be being revealed or a person to harm you could be getting revealed. Somebody's upset because they couldn't stop your destiny or your greatness. Or your healing. Yikes. You're being released from the devil. Or any karmic connections. Whoever I'm speaking to. You guys are being released from this. Thank God. Let's get out Big Bird though. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? There's a dangerous man you guys got on your ass. <laughs> like, somebody weird. Tell me more. Somebody wants to tell you as well that something's a misunderstanding or something's, something was an accident. It wasn't. We have S. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with an S. This could be you or someone else. This is there's no magic pill for self-love. Okay? Yikes. Someone here could be taking a lot of pills or something like that. We have 19 to 25 years old. This could be this person's age range or yours. We have North Node. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're in your North Node. There's nothing that they could do about something here. We have age gap. You and another person could have an age gap. Someone here could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Someone else could be a Taurus. You could have Taurus somewhere in your chart. Tell me more. We have a spiritual fast is needed. Some of you are being advised to go on a spiritual fast. Okay. A water fast. We have people that you cut off will try to reach out to you. So you got people from your past returning. These are people here that were, what do the cards say? That were like, they were in devil-like energy. People who are coming back. People who are returning to you are people that you had unhealthy patterns with. People who are toxic. People who have some form of level of codependency or something like that. Leo. This person could be a Leo. Okay. Or maybe whoever I'm speaking to, you learned a lesson from whoever this person is about co codependency. Maybe you healed from codependency. Maybe you healed from... Um, some sort of toxicity that you had within you or something like this. Maybe this was a spiritual contract that you made with this person. And maybe this same person that you have this karmic connection with to teach you something to heal, to be in your north node, to help you ascend, a catalyst for your growth. This person doesn't want to let you go. But they, they, they got to go. We have calculated person... You guys could be dealing with somebody here who's very calculative. They're trying to come in all fucking sneaky and weird. Okay. Someone here was told not to do something, but they're going to do it anyway, I guess. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Or you guys could spiritually be feeling your ears being clogged or your something like that. Tell me more. We have trying to shut you up. So someone here is trying to shut you up.
If you feel like someone here is trying to mess with like your throat chakra or something like that, you might need to do water fast. We have what's bad is good and what is good is bad. So everyone is going to realize that. Someone was going around saying you was the big bad wolf. And the truth is going to be revealed that that that's not the case. We have booked. This is going to result in somebody being booked or going to jail. Or somebody's afraid of going to jail. So that's why they're going to reach out to you. Somebody keeps wondering why you're still alive. You keep breathing. We have bad health because someone here could have been trying to send you bad health. Ciao. Something about cancer or mental illness could be of significance. There's somebody here who's very, who's calculate, who is trying to strategize a way for you to have bad health. Okay. To make you go crazy or to get you to be sick in some way with an STD or some sort of poisoning. We have this. Or this is something that someone did in the past that is going to be revealed and you're going to find out. Something here about a Shekshi tape could be of significance as well. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have copyright. Something here about copyright is significant. Someone's trying to shut you up because... You know that somebody here tried to be you or is trying to live their life like you or stole something and pretended it was theirs. I don't know. We got less than your pill usage. So someone here could really be taking a lot of pills. Y'all, if this is you, you need to relax on that. It says, research alternative ways to heal your body. Replace or introduce herbs, teas, supplements, and vitamins into your daily diet. Allow your body to heal itself. It was intelligently designed to do just that. I am not a medical professional. This is not medical advice. Go to your doctor and, and ask how you can slowly get off these pharmaceuticals that are probably causing you five different other ailments and diseases. <laughs> not funny, but just saying. We have secret exposed. Okay, for some of y'all, maybe if you are dealing with like you have a pain or you deal with chronic pain, and you're on heavy pain medication, maybe you need to research on, you know, what type of herbs can help you with pain management or marijuana. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Some sort of secrets are getting exposed. Let's find out what these secrets are. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Why do I have secret exposed? Yeah, we have despair. Someone's in despair because some sort of secret is being exposed or that's the secret that somebody here is in despair. Someone doesn't want you to know that they're doing bad. Somebody doesn't want you to know that they lost their job or they lost a car or they just keep losing things. I don't know. What's the secret being exposed? Secret's being exposed about there's there's a gift here for you. Or someone's coming in with a with a an opportunity. And somebody's upset about this because they've been trying really hard to get this to be blocked. Somebody coming in to marry your ass. I don't know who this is for. This is the secret being exposed. Does somebody want to come in and marry that ass? Or this is a married couple that's in despair about your inheritance. Tell me more. Somebody here might be passing away or you're receiving a gift. This is this could literally be about an inheritance. Somebody's sad that the war is over. Somebody's sad that you won. Somebody's mad that th they can no longer do something here with you. Like I was saying before, somebody here could have made a copy of your keys. Somebody here could have been withdrawing from your spiritual bank account and they no longer can. That's done. That's over. It's been put in a coffin. Yeah, someone here could be waiting for someone to pass away or someone to go to jail. Yikes. Somebody knows somebody either going to hell or jail. They know. They know something here going to change here soon. They could be seeing 555. Five, five. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just playing. 
Yeah, something here about court could have there could have been a change in a, in a court ruling or something like this. You could be getting high honor here, main female. That's for some of you, not all y'all, divine feminine. We have house. Maybe you're going to be rewarded some sort of home. And there's an older woman here that could, who's in your family or your community that could be mad about it. Or this is somebody else, another older woman that's in a community that's mad about it. Or somebody mama could be mad that their son or their daughter wants to be with you. Because they know that this courtship is going to lead to great fortune and they're mad about it. The whole community. I'm so tired. Tired of these people. Tell me more. What else? We have life sentence. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. Somebody here gonna have a life sentence in jail, and they know it. They sad. They scared. Whoever's getting a life sentence could be the hitman or somebody here who was hired to harm you or get you sick or something. We have wrongly convicted. Someone here could have wrongly convicted you of something. We have cousin. Okay. Um, something here about somebody cousin could be of significance. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Should I write that down? No, I'm just going to say it. For some of y'all, you guys could have somebody that swears to God that you want their person. But I feel like whoever I'm speaking to if you wanted their person, the person would already be with you. Let that sink in. Tell me more, spirit. Something about your aunt could be of significance. Your aunt and a cousin. We have attempted harm. Somebody here is, could be getting a life sentence for trying to attempt to harm you. There could be evidence of this. And that's why someone's getting a life sentence. Child, this person's first mother or last name could start with an S or yours does. You and this other person could be have an age gap. That's, that's getting a life sentence. Something like that. We have um, drink more water. Some of you really be advised to drink more water. You are getting a raise soon. So your vibration is rising. So you're being advised to drink more water in order to help with this this um, elevation of your, fre your frequency. Okay. There's a need for you to drink more water, more tea, um, dr not drink, eat more. Um, what's it called? fresh fruits and vegetables okay tell me more something here about your dreams could be of significance as well you could be some sort of truth could be getting revealed in your dreams about who is trying to compete with you or trying to um bring chaos and destruction into your life we have food shortage could be of significance as well somebody here is running out of um people to suck off of you know what i'm saying we got a cat lover someone here could be a cat lover who's involved in this situation who is a hitman for some of y'all that was hired or there's a hitman that was hired that couldn't finish the job that wants you to shut up this is somebody here that you continuously get strange vibes from you should listen to those strange vibes don't pay don't uh don't ignore the vibes that you're getting from somebody here we have abundance is an attitude duh you need to recognize the power of your thoughts. Continue to practice get gratitude. Believe that the sky is the limit for you. Okay? There's a need for you to pick your words wisely. All right. And focus on the good in your life and less about the bad. All right? We have Iron Giant. You are who you choose to be. You choose. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're pretty firm on who the fuck you think you are. But you got someone here who mad. Someone's name is Samuel, bro. Tell me more. We have Screwdriver. Somebody here could have been trying to do something to your car in order for you to be... <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody was trying to cause a car accident for you. Someone here could have been loosening the lug nuts of your car wheel. Or you went to a weird mechanic that took a bribe to fuck up something in your car. So that a freak accident can happen to you. For, that's for some of you, not all y'all. We got Sagittarius. You could be a Sag. Okay, you could be dealing with a Sag. Tell me more spirit. We got baby is his. 
or baby is not his my bad we have baby is not his so somebody's finding out a baby ain't theirs or somebody is upset because you found out that or you i don't know something like that okay so you know how like earlier i was saying like you could have had someone that you went to that you thought was helping you but they really were sabotaging you that's your hitman or hit woman whatever tell me more we have cancer gemini cusp you guys could be dealing with a cancer gemini cusp that can no longer feed off you they're having a food shortage it's 444 on the clock you could be a very peaceful person or peace is going to be entering your life um somebody here hired someone to not just harm you but um <sighs> violate you okay or someone here is getting uh exposed for being a predator of sorts we have i bought you okay someone's name could be brian we got false documents there's some sort of uh false documents that are being revealed we have hitman is still watching you so you got someone here who's still watching you be peaceful and shit <laughs> You guys can be seeing one, one, one on the clock. Yeah, this is somebody here who's trying to R-word you. <laughs> My God. We got DUI. Somebody here gonna have a DUI. Someone here could be a dog lover. So there's a differences. There's differences here. I don't know. So you got a hitman that's still watching your ass. Who does Hitman still watching? This Hitman that's still watching has the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog. Sorry. <laughs> this person could have um, Gemini somewhere in their chart. Who does Hitman is watching? That's afraid of getting a life sentence. We got nearby. This could be someone who nearby you. It could be a neighbor. We got Leo. This person could be a Leo. Or this Hitman that's watching you is about to get exposed either in your dreams or, you know, in the in real life. We got Cancer. This cancer here could be a hitman that's still watching you. We got short term. This could be somebody that you've only known for a short amount of time. We have soulmate. Okay, this could be um, a family member or a friend that's a hitman that's watching you. Flip where it needs to go. This person could be a Libra that's a hitman that's watching you. Or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. We have tiger. This person can have the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger or you do. This hitman that's still watching you could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker, Or they're working with a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker. Okay. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat. That the that is the hitman that's still watching you, or this hitman's about to rat on all these motherfuckers because they don't want to have a life sentence in jail. They don't. They want to tell the truth. Well, hot diggity dang. Please don't drink and drive. That is the dumbest thing for you to do. And it's expensive as fuck if you get caught, child. Believe me. Zone the wit. It's dangerous for everybody involved. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What else they need to hear? Oh, hell no. Moving. Some of you might be moving or you guys could have weird ass neighbors that are being moved out of your area because of what they was doing i don't know that's for some of you not all y'all tell me more you could be unfazed or you just keep moving forward even though someone keeps trying to put roadblocks you know in front of you obstacles in front of you challenges in front of you in order to prevent you delay you distract you you keep being unfazed and someone's very mad about this this could be a groupie or somebody here who's like a fan of yours or some shit like this or someone here who um, pretends to be supportive of you. We have an offer. Okay, so somebody here now wants to give you some sort of offer here. You might have to move with this offer. We have always partying. Someone here could be always partying. Okay. Or maybe some of y'all is going to... Someone here, you guys could have a neighbor that's always partying. And the reason they're doing this is so you can move. That's for some of you, not all y'all. 
someone here could be always saying that you're partying or someone wants to offer you offer to get you to go somewhere so they can have evidence that you are a party -er, or something like this so just be careful we have giving money someone here is giving money to someone here somebody here could have gave someone money here Or you got someone here that that it, that thinks that you need to give them money or wants you to give them money. We have making it rain. You're focused on getting to the bag. Or some sort of offer here is going to help you with something. Maybe somebody knows that some sort of offer is coming in. And somebody here is all up in your business being nosy. This could be the person that's always partying, trying to like bother you and shit. The person that you're ignoring. They're all up in your business. They they could be willing to even give people money who are nearby you to get information about you. This is someone here who wants you back. Turn around. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hell no. We have romantic love affair. So this is a this is a lover from your past that wants to offer you something only because you're making it rain or you're getting to the bag or they've been pocket watching you. This is someone here who's coming in to try to steal from you. Someone doesn't want you to move on. Doesn't have to be literal moving. Someone doesn't want you to move on. Someone's trying to steal your new beginning from you. We have jackpot. Yeah, someone's all up in your business looking at you like a fucking jackpot. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, this person's hooked on your energy. They're hooked on your money is what they're hooked on. They're hooked on your great fortune. They are trying to take it from you. This is an enemy. We have dodging bullets. It says blocking negativity, escaping crazy people. You're protected by these motherfuckers. You're protected from them. We have ego. It says hurt ego, ego getting in the way of relationship. So you got somebody here who's in their ego and they're hurt. Whoever this negative person is. What are they giving money for? Dirt digging? It says looking for dirt on you or vice versa. So somebody's looking to see what you got going on in your life to try to find something on you. What are they giving money? Someone's even giving money to people. Yeah, someone here could be giving money people giving money to people to lie, okay, on you, or someone is giving money to people to investigate you, to be investigators into your life, or paid someone to misdiagnose you or something. This could be a doctor that's involved in the situation, don't have to be, or somebody here is paying people to trick you or, or fight with you, cause arguments with you. To be sneaky. So that you can go down the wrong path or the wrong direction. This could be somebody in your family tree that's doing this. This could be a woman that's about to get exposed for giving money to people. This is a secret that you don't know and it's about to be revealed. Somebody's all sad about it. <laughs> Fucking, yeah. Somebody could have paid someone to lie about you, even to like someone here who had romantic feelings for you in order to block this. So somebody here could have been interested in you and you could have had some feminine energy in your family that paid other people to verify that, to co-sign on their bullshit and their lies. It's not my dad. They could have done this because you, you're ignoring them. That's all you did. All you did was ignore a bitch. You ignored a karmic and all of a sudden, you know, they want to destroy your whole life. That's all it takes. These people. Oh, Lord have mercy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? I, this, this energy makes me just like so... <laughs> what do they got to say? What's going on? What else needs to happen or what happened? We have abundance. Okay, so someone's evil eyeing your abundance. Somebody knows you have good fortune. Somebody knows you got favor over your life. Somebody knows that God favors you. Okay, 
and they the evil eye in it someone here could be trying to bring you legal issues okay or you maybe you don't realize someone has been hiding the fact that you have won something in court or you something like that or somebody doesn't want you to know about a court date someone's trying to get you to not testify or get you to um show up for court And then we have Divine Masculine. You could be a Divine Masculine that I'm speaking to. There could be a Divine Masculine that's very abundant. Or a Divine Masculine that's about to receive some sort of abundance here. And someone's evil eyeing that. Maybe there's someone here who is trying to steal from a Divine Masculine. Okay. Or someone here is trying to steal a Divine Masculine from you that's very abundant. Spiritually or monetarily. We have Transition. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, there's somebody here that's receiving some sort of inheritance from someone's passing. Or there's a masculine energy here who was a thief that passed away and left you something. And someone here is evil eyeing you and could have been trying to fight you for this without your knowledge. We have thoughts. Someone did something behind your back and now whatever they did behind your back is about to be revealed. Someone here was trying to be sneaky, trying to do something behind your back, trying to steal something from behind your back while your back was turned. But the divine, what they don't realize is that the divine was watching them the whole time, doing something negative behind your back. And the divine stepped in, was like, uh, no, okay? You deserve bliss. You deserve happiness. This is what's going to be coming in for you. I'm also getting somebody here finally made a decision on you. This could be a divine masculine here who finally made a decision on, you know, being with you. This is for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, maybe some sort of ending happened. Maybe some sort of legal court situation is now done and they're free. Maybe this is somebody here who is getting divorced from someone, a karmic. This could be you. Maybe you're getting a divorce from a karmic feminine energy or whatever, uh, uh, whoever it is, okay? Okay. And you could have been waiting for this legal situation to be done in order to come towards your divine feminine. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We have healer. Whoever this divine uh, masculine is, they are a healer. Tell me more. And this thief who is evil eyeing you, they're getting karma, child. They're getting karma. Because you deserve to have bliss in your life. Or they're getting karma because they was trying to mess up your peace. Disturb your peace. We got divination, okay? Someone no longer can divinate into your life or something like this. I'm also getting somebody here could have legally been trying to like stop you from being able to legally use divination. That is wow. Someone here was trying to bring uh, destruction to something here. For some of y'all, someone here was trying to use divination to bring to to give you a, to send you a death spell or something or to end something for you because someone here was trying to set, shut you up right so you may know this person you may not know this person or this is somebody here that you're okay either this is a friend or family an ex-boss of yours that was legally trying to end something for you when it comes to what you do for work because i feel like for some of y'all you use your intuition for work you could be someone in the spiritual community and you're speaking some sort of truth. And it's, it is putting someone in fear. Somebody here was so fearful about some sort of truth coming out about what they're doing. Remember, this is the year of karma. It don't matter what these people do to try to hide some sort of um, wrongdoings or whatever. They can't get away with it from whatever this is. God is going to reveal it. It will be illuminated. You can't run. You cannot hide. And somebody here felt like if they legally were able to stop you from being to being able to speak out or use your spiritual gifts, then they would be able to get you to shut the fuck up and then they won't get karma. But that's not how it works. They're going to get karma regardless. Someone here was trying to bring destruction to you and it's they're going to be experiencing this destruction. Something here about a house. Some of you could be receiving some sort of house here or you're about to, you know, find out that you won a house or you were left a house. With this, yeah, we got confusion and illusions. Someone here could have been creating a lot of confusions and spreading a lot of lies about a house. You and a house. A false narrative. Someone here was spreading a lot of false narratives about you. They was lying on you. They were conspiring against you. This is going to be revealed. 
Oh my god. A lot of manipulation was done. Out of jealousy and envy because you were you were left something. You were gifted something. Or you just have a gift and someone here just fucking can't take it or some shit. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's going on? Spreading lies and rumors. Listen, whoever believed these lies and rumors that want to come back into your life, I wouldn't take them back. That's my own opinion. You know, you could forgive them, but I would never... If someone here was so quick to believe a lie about me, I already know deep down inside you a motherfucking hater. Because I get emails all the time about other readers. People, weird people email me about readers. Okay? Other readers online. And I, I know it's I know it's fucking lies. Just I don't know. I don't know why I needed to say that. Um, but we have haunted. Someone here is haunted. Okay? Someone's haunted by, you know, something that they did. They're haunted by you because you kept it real with them or something like that. You told the truth. And then someone went around and spread lies on you because you told them about themselves. You told you you kept it real with somebody. You were being authentic. I don't know. We got well played though. You're winning something. You outsmarted somebody here who was trying to be real smart. This is somebody here who's now stuck or they were trying to get you stuck. Somebody here knows that they they ran out of time. It says feeling like it's hard to fit in, caught in the middle, crossed over between Xers and millennials. Someone here could be in between Gen X and a millennial. Okay, someone here could be fed up. You won something here. This is false narrative. Something about a false narrative involving you agreeing to something that you didn't agree to. Or a false narrative about you being in a third party, you sleeping with someone's husband or wife. That's for some of you, not all y'all. There could be a false narrative about you doing black magic in order to get good fortune. Um, or a false narrative about why you keep things private. Whatever it is, you're going to be getting good news. Okay? And you're going to have some people who are trying to spread this false narrative try to... Um, Get you to compromise child i would i would make sure these people get punished by the full extent of the fucking law that's what i would do because this is ridiculous this person needs to be um put away from society because that's not good somebody don't got Someone got a screw, a screw loose in the brain why do we got a false narrative or someone needs to get an exorcism or something This could have been a Sagittarius spreading a false narrative about you, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or somebody here wanted to spread a false narrative about your how you're tempered or something. Your disposition, how you carry yourself, okay? Or you are a Sag that someone was spreading a false narrative about for the needs ago. Yeah, we got the star. Someone here was spreading a false narrative. This could be an Aquarius that was spreading a false narrative about you. Or someone here was spreading false narratives in order to prevent you from healing. To get you to lose hope. To get you to go um, to refuse your life purpose. Okay. Someone here was spreading a false narrative about um, just who you are as a person. Because somebody here didn't like that someone else was being inspired by you or that you're an inspiration it, it grinds this person's gears this person could be a leo that was spreading a false narrative about you or you are one and flip or needs to go something here someone here was spreading a false narrative because you're happy you're free you're positive you, you're experiencing some sort of success someone here can no longer suck off of your energy you speak the truth uh, something chow we got the four of coins out here Somebody mad. This is somebody here who's in has a lack mindset. They have a scarcity mindset. Whoever this loser is. This is somebody here who is mad because um you stand for you 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 fight the good fight, basically, with the seven of wands here. 
you def you've defended yourself when it comes to something. So you defended yourself. You told the truth. You kept it 100 with somebody. And that and then that that somebody felt like they had every right to talk shit about you or to lie on you in order to end something for you. I'm so tired of people. This is getting exposed. Whatever it is, it's getting exposed. It's getting exposed. And now someone feels haunted about the shit they the lies they told and the secrets they kept <laughs> or some shit like that. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What else do they need to hear regarding this situation when it comes to these haters? We got tap into your intuition. You already know who this person is. So you already know who this individual is who was going through, going to extreme lengths to stop you and block you. It says possess a talisman to amplify positive vibes. If you guys are interested, I just, um, what's it called? I just put, um, these new, uh, seven archangel protection amulet necklaces on my website. Okay. Um, yeah. For men and women, it's, it's gender neutral, these necklaces. Okay. They come in gold, silver, and I think black. Okay. It says, keep a protection pouch on you, with you. All right, what else, what else, what else? It says, get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. Because somebody here trying to infiltrate your dreams. This is like, so somebody here that you already know. Who's evil eyeing you, watching your pockets, trying to harm you, whatever. This person can no longer divinate or use divination to spy on you or something. They could be trying to get into your dreams or they're trying to show up in your dream state. <sighs> something like that. We got tiger's eyes. Some of you could benefit from wearing tiger's eye at this time. It helps with grounding. So some of you need to ground yourself. Maybe go outside, put your feet on the ground, on the grass and stuff. It says they will play victim once they know they're losing. So somebody here is losing. And now they're crying, okay? We have lavender sage, okay? Some of you could benefit from burning lavender sage at this time. Maybe right before you go to bed or something like this. We have, okay, causing you to lose your appetite. So someone here wants you to be malnourished, I guess. Speak, or not speak. Seek someone to perform or learn to do a hex-breaking ritual. So someone here is trying to... um break off a hex that they planned for you to have something got returned to sender we have someone is doing black magic or juju work on you child please they're trying to they're trying to um lock you out of your own spiritual gifts not happening we got blackmail says digging up dirt on you to use later okay stupid and then we have causing unexplained body pains or numbness. So somebody's health is declining. We got cedar. Um, some of you could benefit from burning cedar. It helps cleanse a new home um, of its old energies and unwanted spirits while inviting fresh energetic vibes and protecting the new occupants. Some of you could benefit from that. Maybe you just moved to a new home or something like this. Let's find out who this motherfucker is real quick. Because... Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What they need to hear? So the truth is coming out. Who doing black magic? This person gonna have dark skin who's doing black magic on you. Who does person doing black magic work on them? This person could be musically talented. This person could be a hothead. They could have a temper. Who's uh, doing black magic on them? This person could have freckles or moles. Who is this person that doing uh, dark magic on them? Black magic. This could be someone who always at the gym. Okay, this could be someone who's a cook. Okay. Or there are a, a kitchen witch or something like that. Who is this? This person could be Caucasian. Okay. This could be a biracial or interracial couple that's doing black magic on you. 
that's for some of you not all y'all we have imperfect smile okay somebody here whose teeth ain't looking the best okay it could be doing black magic on you or someone's doing black magic on your teeth maybe somebody here is trying to get you to have like a toothache or something like that or so that or tooth pain so that you won't speak or something like this we have uh piercings someone here who has a lot of piercings or dresses edgy or something like this or rocker style or goth they could be doing black magic on you. This person could drive a pickup truck that could be doing black magic on you. Sex magic, some sort of magic. Yeah, look, we got busty. This person could be real busty or lusty, okay? Who's doing black magic juju on you. This could be a couple trying to do sex magic on y'all. We have brunette. Someone here could be a brunette. Someone here could be a Pisces here who's doing black magic on you. Or someone... Mm -hmm. Yes, whoever this person is, they scared. Whoever's doing black magic on you or did or spo spoke a lot of lies, okay? They could be anxious. This person could be real short. Oh. I'm also getting... Someone here could have done black magic on somebody to get them to cloud their judgment. Maybe they weren't in the right mind space. Like this could have been an, a, a relative of yours that was um, maybe suffering from like Alzheimer's disease or dementia, or they just was at the, the end tell of life, right? The end of their life. And they just, they weren't thinking straight or something like that. They could have been in a lot of chronic pain. And someone here could have convinced this person to make a decision on a home when they weren't in their right mind or something. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here could be blonde who's doing black magic on you or you're blonde. Flip where I need to go, guys. I don't want y'all to get offended, okay, if these, whatever, these traits or characteristics sound like your ass, okay? <laughs> don't get mad at me. Okay. Let's see what else. So you got something really beautiful coming in. For some of y'all, there could have been a, a whole blessing. Something that's going to set you up for a long, long time. I'm also getting like, if you play your cards right, you can turn... Basically, you could turn water into wine or something like that. What the hell is going on? What's happening? This is metaphorically, obviously. We have healing. It says your body, your mind, and your soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once. And you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. Oh. Okay, so it's a need for you to be gentle on yourself at this time. Focus on healing. We have authenticity. It says, be your divine self at all times. You weren't designed to fit in. Break away from expectations and fully express yourself in your own unique way. And you'll be a magnet for success. So go out there and just be you. And be proud of who you are. Even your, even your um, shortcomings, okay? The things, your quirks, your kinks that you can't fucking change about yourself, embrace it, okay? You just, I mean, you might as well. <laughs> just, just embrace it, okay? Accept it, fully accept yourself. You know? Laugh at yourself, child. We got follow your passion. It says, if there's something that excites and motivates you, it is a message from your Akashic records that it can lead to your abundance. Don't silence it. Some of you are still silencing a passion that you have that you want to go after, but you're scared or you are lacking confidence or certainty about the outcome when you need to just follow your gosh diggity dang heart. 
<laughs> the card flew. <laughs> we have break free. You need to break free some some sort of mental prison or chains that you could be placing on yourself. That's for some of you, not all y'all. It says you're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it is very necessary necessary if you're going to share your true self with your with others. Be brave. Be real. Be you. And trust that those who love you will always be there for you. The people that will get you, they'll get you. And the people who don't, don't. Let them misunderstand you. Let them not vibe you. It's fine. Okay? It is what it is. It is what it is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, there's a lot of peacocks. Something here about self-love could be of significance. Maybe there's a need for you to really uh, love yourself at this time. Or show yourself some, um, some love. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do you need to hear? Okay, this is for some of you, not all y'all. Something about a scroll, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, your new beginning has been written. But I also feel like you went through unnecessary bullshit. On top of the shit you were already supposed to like, you already signed up for, for. And whatever that unnecessary bullshit is, it's like the divine or your spirit team has written like an extra paragraph or something like that on this scroll of, that's a part of your new beginning. For, for, for the pain and suffering or some shit like that. Okay, so we have frog transition. It says, this is a powerful time of change. You are being called to connect with the world of emotions and feminine energies. You may also need to engage in a process of cleansing, whether it is spiritual, emotional, um, or physical, emotional, spiritual, or energetic. So some of you, you might need to cry. Purge out some sort of emotions here. I did that yesterday. Some of you might need to um, tap into your creativity, um, tap into some form of creative art, whether that's singing, writing music, playing an instrument, painting, drawing, knitting, crocheting, pottery, uh, playing with Legos. I don't know what you do, but you need to do it, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What else do I need to hear? We have Dolphin Peace. It says, The gentle nature, nature of the dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace to your life and those around you. Trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. Okay, there's something about you really needing to keep that mindset of not being part of the problem and rising above it okay don't add fuel to the flames that's something my stepdad used to always tell me when i was younger because i you know i was a firecracker you know uh, me and my mom would always get at it and we'd fight and argue whatever right and my my stepdad would always be like you know, pulling me to the side after we'd fight. And he'd be like, Linda, you need to learn to stop adding fuel to the fire. And I never knew any of the itamins or the itamins. What are they called? Itamins, itamins, whatever. The little old classic sayings that he would say to me. I would never understand. <laughs> I'd always look at him like he crazy because I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean fuel on the fire, right? But now that I'm older, I understand these things. basically what i'm saying because i because basically when i was younger and i was dumb okay i would escalate a situation to a situ to to where it didn't have to be like i could have i could have i could i did not realize i was contributing to the chaos okay oh it's 144 on the clock there's a need to realize when you should, you know, fight and put energy into something and when you should pull back, okay? 
something like that in order to keep the peace like if i do x y and z am i gonna escalate the situation is this gonna result in the situation escalating or is it gonna bring peace to the situation you gotta some some about that is of significance okay We have Ar armadillo protection. You are freaking protected, whoever I'm speaking to. It says you are entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you may okay, you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that have been holding you back in the past. So there's a need for you to say no to something here, okay? The, you saying no is part of you protecting yourself. Don't allow somebody to come towards you and to make your no a yes or whatever. You already know what you need to do. Okay? Listen, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.